Let's take a look how we can install the new DAS to Roblox bridge so that you can transfer content from DAS Studio directly into the Roblox experience. This is a very exciting thing because it means you can use your DAS assets inside of Roblox. This is really cool. I just want to cover the installation and getting going part of the process. And there'll be a second video on how to use this and how to actually bring your characters into the Roblox editor. But for now, you need a few components. I don't know what your experience level is, so I'm going to talk to both DAS Studio users as well as Roblox users who are not familiar with DAS Studio and vice versa. You need a few components to get started. The first one is a copy of DAS Studio, of course. I already have it, but if in case you don't and if you're not familiar with how the DAS ecosystem works, you head over to DAS3D.com and then you head over here to the 3D software tab and then click on DAS Studio. And once you do that, you get a free download link to DAS Studio and Install Manager, which is an application that lets you bring in content that you've bought on the store into DAS Studio. So you need those two things. You also need a free account on DAS3D.com, but that's free, so that's that's all good. Next, of course, you need a copy of Roblox. And if you go to the homepage of Roblox.com, and if you happen to be logged in, you need an account here, of course, as well. You might get to this page and you don't see a download button. So you have to head over to Roblox.com forward slash download to get the Roblox player. And that is an application that lets you experience Roblox games, Roblox experiences, Ro Roblox worlds with your characters. But that is not the application that you need in order to create such experiences. To create your own levels, you need something called Roblox Studio, and that you get at create.roblox.com. Same account credentials, but you get a big download button here to get Roblox Studio. So that is a thing that you need in order to import the assets that we're going to export from DAS Studio. Last but not least, you also need a copy of Blender. Uh, Blender, you don't need to no blender per se you don't have to ever operate it but the das to roblox bridge will tap into command line tools so that the conversions work under the hood very elegantly so you don't ever have to open blender yourself but you have to install it so that the bridge can access it there's a big download button either here or at the top here under download and Blender is a little tricky because it sort of comes in various versions. The easiest one to get going with is this one here, the, the one that has a button under the freedom to create, and that will get you the Windows installer in my case, or the Mac installer if you're on the Mac OS platform. But there's also other platforms here. So this one works fine. It'll install itself into the programs directory on Windows and into applications on the Mac. But if you're a little finickety like me, you can also click this button here, which says Mac OS Linux and other versions, and that gets you another version, which is the portable version. So I'm on Windows. I tend to use this one. This is basically that, but I tend to use the portable version because it's a zip file. I can extract it anywhere I want on my hard drive. I have a big Blender folder in the root directory of my C drive, and that is where I install multiple versions of Blender because I'm a geek. So <laughs> just remember where your installation of Blender is, and we're going to have to tell the bridge in a moment. Now, once all these applications are installed on your computer, you should have another application aside from DAS Studio that is called the Install Manager, DAS Install Manager. And that is a little application that lets you bring in store-bought content, stuff that you've bought on the DAS store, into DAS Studio so that you can use it there. And that's what Install Manager is for, and it excels at that. You need these two little packages, uh, provided that the DAS to Roblox bridge is on your account. You can just go and search in this field here, search for Roblox, and then you will find these two packages. I have them under my installed tab already, but if you haven't got them installed, they'll be over here under ready to download. You click both of them and then you click this button down here that says start queue. It's a big green button. You can't miss it. And then a couple of seconds later, it'll be in your installed tab. And that's where you want them to be. The first package here, just so that you know what they are, the first package is the actual bridge. So that is the one that does the conversions, talks to Blender and exports stuff so that we can import it into Roblox Studio in a moment. And the second one here is a collection of helper tools like Modesty Overlays and uh, certain morphs as well as Blender files that you can use to adjust the default assets that are there to help you get started. If you want to know where they are on your installation, you can click these three little dots on the right here and then you show the installed files here and then these things are links you can click any of them and then go and have a look at them inspect them they're actually in my documents folder here on windows explorer window pops up and then you'll see the das to roblox here and you see the das to roblox dev kit have a look into those and then you can see what you can do with those like texture templates and scripts and all kinds of overlays and stuff have a look at that
So once all that is installed, it is finally time to go get the bridge to work that is inside of DAS Studio. Right now, only Genesis 9 figures and accessories are supported. So that means you have to have a Genesis 9 figure, hopefully something better looking than this guy here, the gray default figure with some clothing, and you have to select the figure over here as well. If you don't, or if you select something else that isn't Genesis 9 compatible, you'll get an error message. To send something over or to, to export something, you head over to File, and then you go over to Send to Roblox. And then a dialog comes up, and if this is the first time that you use it, you'll have to set a few things. The first one is the Roblox Output folder. This can be a temporary folder. You just need to remember where it is. I've got a big testing folder here uh, for my projects, and that is just something that you will access in order to import assets into Roblox Studio in a moment. The asset name is whatever your scene is called, or your project is called, so you can call it a test person, no spaces allowed, and you can pick what you want to send over. So in my case, it'll be a complete character with outfit, but you can also be more granular about that if you just want to send over an accessory or if you just want to send over some hair and, and so forth. There's options for modesty overlays here, so you can either use your own or pick the ones that come with the bridge. We're going to talk about this a little bit more when it comes to actually importing these things into Roblox Studio. The most important one here is under the advanced options, that is the path to the Blender executable. So the bridge needs to know this, otherwise it won't be able to talk to Blender and do conversions on the fly under the hood. There's another texture resizing option here that are very self-explanatory, and that's pretty much all we need to know. Hit accept, and then DAS Studio is going to start exporting your character out. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about how to bring this into Roblox Studio. Perhaps one other thing, just notice that there's an intermediate folder here that's been generated automatically, and that is where my files are going to end up. That's that's the ones that Blender's going to work in. So if you feel like your hard drive is getting full, have a look at that every once in a while. You can delete these files once the conversion is over. Just something I wanted to let you know. Hit accept, agree to the terms and conditions here, and then DAS Studio is going to go to work and export all of that. That's, this can take five to ten minutes depending on the heft of your character. Might also be much faster. Catch me in the next video in which we're going to talk about how to import your character into Roblox Studio. Stay tuned.